there is a massive issue worldwide of young kids taking drugs, performance enhancing drugs that don't know what they're doing and they're destroying themselves. Now, what really annoys me is that as uh, influencers and so on, we put across how we look, put across this, put across that. It should be down to someone of a higher level that can really advise these kids properly because they're going to do it regardless. You know what kids are like. You know, there's whether it's drinking, smoking, drugs, whatever it is, they're going to do it. But the problem is, it's so hushed up. We portray in the media line like we portray this perfect image, which isn't achievable natural. It's not achievable. And the same people that are pushing that image out are the same people that are saying, well, they don't use drugs, they don't use this. They just use protein and creatine and so on. And, it, and it's so dangerous on the youngsters that follow the, the sport because they're getting advice from people who don't really know what they're doing. They're, it's just tarnishing the sport in my eyes. I, and I'm not one to speak and give advice. I'm, I don't have a clue. I'm talking about proper doctors and so on. If, they, if you're going to push to look a certain way as a sport, then you've got to accept that there's, whether it's illegal or not legal, that there's, there's, there's guidelines that should be in place for these kids. Because you just, I know so many kids who are destroying themselves using way too much gear or crazy mixes, not sure how to do PCT. Because you, you're gonna want, as an individual, you're always gonna wanna be the best. And if you know to be the best, you've got to go down that route. You're gonna take risks. And as a society, even with models, that's changed the last 10 years. The cover model, she's gone from being on her exit to a normal looking girl. Exactly the same with the fitness industry. I think it needs that you either need to really push the normal, healthy looking person or open the floodgates and, and really push the proper advice out there for the kids to keep them safe. Because it's just too, it's too much pressure on young kids at the moment to look a certain way. It's a mixed message. They show these bodies, but they don't say- They don't explain it properly. Right. And most of those bodies are built on some type of steroid. I, I, I really struggle to believe now that there's not many sports people out there that aren't using performance enhancing drugs. I genuinely do. When you look at the physiques, you look at the, the records, and you, there's only so much evolution food can give. All right, and it's it's. I'm not I'm not here to argue the point of whether drugs are right or wrong. It's not it's not down to me at all. I'm here to argue the point that you should be keeping people safe, and and that's the that's the that's my one gripe with the fitness industry, is that I think there's so much pressure on individuals to be a certain way, to look a certain way, and it's so hushed up. It really is hushed up, um, even in sports. I don't believe, I don't believe 60% of the athletes are clean, whether it's blood doping or a form of, of, of steroids. You only have to look at the fighters, look at the way the bodies have changed, you know, in the UFC. I won't say any names because they'll get all funny with me, but you only have to put the pictures from five years ago to now. Now the UFC have brought the drug testing, they're completely different physiques, but they were natural before. Do you think that testing is effective in the UFC? Or do you still think if you um, have the right doctor, you can get around it? I don't know. I don't know. I think I think it, it probably is effective because a lot of them are getting caught. But then, is it effective to the right people? Possibly. And what about other sports? Football? Same. And everything? Yeah. Cricket and... This is, this is my biggest issue, right? As a sports person, you will do whatever it takes to be the best. You, you will sacrifice your life. You've come second, okay? Take that tablet, you'll be first. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. They will do anything to be the best. And they get caught, eventually. 
as the, the you know as science evolves more people are getting caught from five ten years ago and getting stuff taken off them uh, you, know, you look at you look at the great Stinford Christie he was shredded shredded genetics to a par but when you look back you think, oh yeah even some of the boxers they're coming in 18 19 stone I did MMA training I know how hard that is and I drop weight like that I'm like how can you hold that size some couple with genetics could be amazing nutritionists but I hold my doubt. <laughs> Do you think we should allow it in sports? <laughs> Somebody told me that it, 50 years from now, there's going to be a, a, um, an MMA ring, and the whole crowd are going to be juiced up, and the only two guys are going to be the ones in the ring. In the ring. I, you know? you know, I, I think if they can make it safe, and I, I personally, I wouldn't mind seeing it legal because I think it would make it safer. I think with it being illegal, it creates a black market. And I think with the black market, I think you create a lot of issues for individuals. I don't think they'll make it legal. I don't think they'll make performance enhancing drugs legal. Um, but I think they'll probably end up in 15, 20 years making supplements which are as good as performance enhancing drugs. I think I really struggle to understand the difference between some supplements and, and some steroids and the difference in different countries. Like you can use it there, you can't use it here and so on and so on. I understand the reasons and why, but the actual science um, backing it, I think if they can make them safe, safer, I don't see any difference between a steroid and a, a supplement if it's safe. That's the biggest issue in my eyes. I, I, I still don't believe a lot of the sports people are natural. Genuinely don't. And you can slate me for that. People will watch, oh, of course they are. Well, all right. But my opinion is they're not because... And you would know, you've been in the industry. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't... I know MMA guys and, and boxers who currently do and have and, and so on. But I wouldn't know, this is my opinion, uh, my opinion as a, as, a, as a sports person, you will do whatever it takes to be the best. And that's, if you can, if you have a doctor come up to you going, look, I made this test. I also know how to beat this test. There you are, all right, sound. And that's what's happening, that's the reality. Look at athletics. They've kicked out nearly every single... F the amount of people that have been caught in, in, in athletics for drug use. And it's like, well, if they're doing it, that's just one sport. How many other sports are doing it? How much money is involved in football? How much money is involved in basketball, baseball? And you're telling me that the morals of an individual is going to allow him not to do that when there's a £100 million at risk? That's, yeah, just, that's my opinion. When's the football scandal going to break? <laughs> I'm still waiting. You know? just, it's never, yeah, it's, it's never been talked about. It's yet. never been spoke about. Yeah. Never. Yeah. I mean, there's different types of uh, performance enhancing drugs, obviously. But I don't think there's... If you, can, if you can use a drug that gives you 15 years more longevity, would you use it? Of course I would. Everyone wants to be great for longer. And, and, and I think that's the, the reality of it. And I just think in, in the world we live in, everything's hushed up too much. And it, and it makes it dangerous for individuals. And I'm, I'm not saying that there's not natural athletes out there. Of course there is. Of course there is. But I think there's a lot of people that aren't who create this holier-than-now image. <laughs>